Hi everyone, this is Kamel. Welcome back to Video Product Official Channel. Editing videos to the beat of the music is a popular editing technique, and it's commonly used in making vlogs and movie mashups. So we're gonna upload a series of tutorials about editing videos to the beat. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to add videos to match the music with strong beats like drum beats. Now, you can check out the link in the description box to download the video product flagger for free. Alright, now let's get the video started. First of all, get the video and music files that you're going to use ready. Give a caution, the music files is better with loud percussions like drums. In this way, we can easily mark the beats by working with the audio on scene mode. Next, launch up the software, start a project. Click the plus icon on the upper left corner, add the source media files to media library. Drag the music onto audio track. Select it. Find the audio icon under the preview window. Collect it to open the audio editor panel Move to the left side of the top audio editing toolbar. There we have the analyzer icon. Collect it to open the audio analyzer panel. Here are three analysis modes. You can click the card to watch the intro of audio analyzer tutorial for getting more knowledge about the three analysis modes. We are gonna edit a video to match the drum bits. So here we select audio onset. Underneath audio onset, you can find the ready size threshold of onsets. You can also adjust the value based on the intensity of the percussion sound. If the percussion is quite weak, you need to decrease the threshold to make sure it can be detected. If the percussion in the audio is strong, drag the slider to the right for increasing the value. After adjustments, click on Analyze. The detected results are indicated by regular green points. Next, find the add marker icon. Click on it. You will notice video product flagger automatically adds markers to the positions indicated by the points. These points can help you quickly find a music beat. A small tip here, you can easily reposition these markers. You can hit the play button and then add more markers to the proper positions based on your tempo perception. After adding the marker, hit apply to get back to the audio track. These markers also show up on the audio track. Here you can also adjust the markers flexibly. If you want to delete a certain marker, simply right click on it and choose delete this marker. When editing videos to the beat, changing the video speed is the main approach and the cutting is the supplement. Drag the video clips onto video tracking order. Find a small sound icon on the left of the video track. Select it to mute the original sound of the video. Obviously, the positions of the ends of these two clips and the markers are far apart. Next, let's preview the volley clip. The objects in the video move very slowly. It doesn't match with the music rhythms. Select the video clip. Find a speed icon to enter the speed editor panel. By hearing the music and checking the waveforms, we can find the previous section has a faster tempo with continuous bits. And the latter part has a slower tempo, so here we can find a fastening effect. Select it. Drag the slider to adjust the position of the keyframes. Hit apply. Now, the position of the end of the clip is almost the same as the marker. Next, drag with your mouth to shorten the end of the clip. It will then display a green line for reminding that you've aligned the video with a marker. Let's preview the result. Well, we've made a rhythmic edit. Apart from adjusting the non-linear speed, we have a quick way to change the video speed. Select a white forest clip. Come over to the right to find the linear speed button under the play speed menu. Here we have some preset speed ratio values. 
You can hit a custom to enter the constant speed panel, enter the one to the speed ratio value. Click on OK. Now you've changed the video speed and made it end at the position of the marker. A small tip here, you can select a certain clips to apply the speed changing effects, but don't overuse it if you don't want to affect the rhythms of your storytelling. In addition to changing video speed to match the music beats, we can add transitions to the beats. For instance, let's preview these two clips. The switch between them already gives the project an obviously rhythmic touch. Let's spice it up a little bit. Come over to the transition button on the top left. Select it. There are many preset transition effects for you to choose. Select the wanted one and drag it in between two clips. Drag with your mouse to tweak its duration. That's it. Now let's preview the result. The video looks more engaging. Alright, now you've reached this video about how to add a video to the beat of the music in Video Prac Flagger. I think you've got it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye.